Hello healers and welcome to Friday. Well, it's a two-part Friday. Oh, I almost forgot. Friday. That's your second one. Looks like two-part day, like I was beginning to say. The moon is in Sagittarius as we begin the day. So Virgos are nesting and resting still. It's chapter three, so maybe you're putting the finishing touches on reorganizing your closet or reorganizing your sock drawer or maybe even just cleaning. It doesn't have to always be reorganizing with Virgo. So for the first half of the day, you're really kind of feeling, I think, tied to home, tied to a need for self-nurturing. And if you have to go out there and work all day long and you just don't feel like leaving the house, maybe you pack yourself a really nice lunch, one that triggers your inner child. Then speaking of inner child, that's exactly what's about to be triggered. By the end of the day, the moon then moves into Capricorn. So emotional focus does shift to your inner child, your creative self, and the universe is going to call upon you to let go of an old emotional attachment in that capacity. That's because the moon will cross over Pluto, which is direct, by the way, which means that now that Virgos have gotten a real handle on where their ego needs to go and grow, it's time to start moving towards the direction of your personal dreams, personal romances, and what your inner child really wants. But to get there, Virgo, you're going to have to let go of an emotional attachment to the old way of thinking or the old way of emoting. Now this is very likely tied, frankly, to self-esteem issues. I know that because the Sun in Libra is squaring Pluto direct in Capricorn. A square means that there's some issues between the two planets that are holding each other back. They're literally coming into an intersection energetically and at the same time it's usually the release of certain fears. So certain fears around feeling strong about yourself, feeling confident about yourself and how that relates to what your inner child wants to be, what you thought you wanted to be, and maybe you're emotionally attached to something of the old paradigm. Maybe the inner child that didn't get what it wants. Maybe the inner child that was neglected, the inner child that was abused. And that inner child may, in some regard, still be holding on to those old uh, feelings. And you think it's necessary to honor them or some other thing. But it's not. It's time to release the old inner child emotions and free yourself up for new inner child fun. So today, I think, through tomorrow might be a little bit more dramatic than usual. But Saturday and Sunday are going to be childlike and playful. So I recommend Virgos go out and play on Saturday or Sunday. All right, Fair Maiden, that's all I have for the weekend forecast. I'll see you on Monday with more. Live, love, be. So